started off doing some cleaning this morning and some reading. Um, I just got sick of looking at these shelves and everything was dusty again, so I did that. <laughs> this is now... Bye. Excuse me, darling. This is now... I moved my Agathas in here because they were all piled up out there and they were just getting trashed. There's my 40 before 40 project. These are all Australian and then non-fiction down the bottom. So I have them all in one spot, which is really nice. And then over here, I've got um, sort of translated stuff, Indian, European, Asia. I've got classics, classics, classics. I had to take, these used to be up on this shelf over here, but because the sun comes in so hard there, they were getting a bit faded and yucky. So I moved them. Oh, and then I put other nonfiction in the corner. And then I just kind of, I'll move it down. And then I just kind of moved everything down. So, excuse me, Fitzy. Then I just kind of moved everything down. So it's all there. So no books are stacked on top of each other and all that sort of stuff. And then, yeah, I fixed up my cart and then, yeah, bought in another little shelf and put my fabric and things in there. So yeah, oh, it's all dusted out and all really nice to be in again. So that's been my morning. I'm starving. I need some food. Oh, and I need to tell you what I'm going to read. Picked a uh, Home Up by Larissa Barrett last night I'm and I read a bit this morning I'm 60 or so pages in um, Larissa Barrett is a First Nations author she is from the ancestral lands of northwestern New South Wales and I've forgotten their names it's Camilla Roy and Yulia anyway she's a lawyer and this is her first novel I think anyway it's, it kind of follows quite closely with her life, I think, um, because the main character is a lawyer from Sydney who is going back to her ancestral lands. And it's a bit of a dual timeline thing. So the present day, I think this was um, published by University of Queensland Press in 2004, I think I read. Let me double check. Yeah. So it was published in 2004. So that was the present day. And then back to the story of her grandmother, and the first 60 pages were about her grandmother being taken by police from her family's camp. And it was so incredibly sad and confronting and written really uh, well, not lawyerish at all, <laughs> not just facts. It was very emotive and real. So her grandmother, we're in 1919 now, and her grandmother's been placed as a servant in a home really far away from her family and having to cope with that. So um, it's really intense for me to read, but important for me to read, I understand that. So yeah, I'm going to um, read a bit of this today. So what I've done to this room, I intend to do to every room in the house. I don't think I'll get it all done today, but just a big clear out um, really needs to happen. So. I'm kind of gonna do a room and then read for a bit and then yeah that, do another room read for a bit and that can be my day which sounds great okay i'll talk to you guys later on the problem with gluten-free donuts doris is that it it doesn't hurt you <laughs> so you just keep eating them and in your mind you're like they're gluten-free they're totally good for me hello so much sugar so addictive. I'm just going to take a moment and sit here in the sun. It's my donut. Maybe watch some booktube. I'm addicted to Veep at the moment. Does anybody watch Veep with Julia Louis-Dreyfus in it? God, it's a good show. And I've just started watching it. So maybe I'll watch an episode of that and some booktube with my donuts. See how I said donuts? Might get another one. <gasps> What I've done, it's all on the floor now. Oh, this is the worst part of rearranging. <laughs> I just sat down in this chair. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to do it anymore. 
I just moving things around. I hated that bookcase anyway. I just, you know, I've got the urge to clear everything out, but that urge is slowly leaving. Anyway, it'll feel good when it's done. It'll feel really good when it's done. Oh my gosh. I just want to sit and read like I did yesterday, but my brain's not letting me. Hi, I did it. There's nothing left on the floor. That's over there now. I've done this room and the reading room. Ran out of vinegar, so I'm using that as an excuse to stop for the rest of the afternoon. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm just kind of checking in to... It's just been a cleaning morning. I'm going to sit down and read some more now, though. The kids are outside doing something that I don't know, and they're happy and not yelling, so I'm not going to investigate. Is that bad? Somebody once told me a quiet baby is a naughty baby, but... I'm totally buffed to that trend. <laughs> so I'm going to sit here in this new little corner I've got. How nice is it with my little quiet bed? And, um, yeah, read some more of this really, really engaging book. Okay, that's, that's the update. <laughs> and I just put together um, our Easter ideas of what we want to do for the week leading up to Easter. We went through my deadly Pinterest board. Very cool. So we've got a bit of an Easter plan. Now that the birthdays are over, we can focus on Easter. It'll be very exciting. I want to make an Easter egg tree, but I'm the only one that wants to do that. So. I want to do it. Oh, you do? Yes. Nice. I have a helper. Part of this book where it's all about trusting the author you know when you're kind of reading a book and the author's telling you things and you're just kind of wondering where it's all going that's where I'm at so we're hearing a lot about the people that um Garibaldi is working for and some shit stuff has gone down like just ugh, I just it makes me so incredibly angry and sad um, but there's lots of thoughts about, you know, the wife and the husband and the, you know, housekeeper and stuff. And I'm just kind of want to just sit with Garibaldi and, and know her point of view about all these things. It's throwing lots of different perspectives in there. I'm trusting this author because this author is an Indigenous woman. So, you know, I, I have to know that she's telling me these things from other people's perspectives because they're, you know, because it's important. It's important to the story. But I kind of am thinking, like, I don't want to hear from these horrible white people at all. Anyway, a lesson in trust of the author. Um, I just watched, I've been watching BookTube in and out, and I just watched um, Mercy's bookish musings from Sadie's talk about her Aussie April TBR, and she has Inga Simpson who, if you've been around, know that I rave about Inga Simpson. She's an amazing Aussie author, nature writer. And Sophie Laguna, who, it, who I just adore. She writes from a child's perspective like nobody else. And both of, she's got two, one book from each on her TBR. And I was just so excited. And just, yeah, just 
really happy to see Aussie April, you know, sweeping up people and and a sort of getting people to pick up those Aussie books that are languishing on their shelves. So we're only on day five. So if you watch this vlog and you haven't read any Aussie books yet or haven't thought about it, join in. It's just it's just so nice to see those books being picked up all over the world. And not just the Jane Harpers either. Some really great Aussie authors that don't get spoken about enough. Anyway, rant. Every vlog has rants in it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to have a, a lovely afternoon here on my green chair and do some more reading and some booktube watching until people tell me they're hungry. I just plonked a big bag of beans down in front of them, so that should last them for a little while. I cleared enough bench space to make some dough. <laughs> I cancelled my gym membership, so I guess I need to do this every day to get a workout for my arms. Um, yeah, today's been a really kind of solidifying day, pulling everything together, working through ideas about spending time at home and being here for a while and what that means and Easter's approaching and that's a time for family and dinners and food and big gatherings around big tables and that's not going to happen and yeah I'm kind of finding peace with that actually. I'm really enjoying creating this little bubble and I didn't realise that it would be something that I would enjoy. And pulling together those two rooms, I was constantly thinking about the creating of the haven here for us and we don't need much. We have everything we need. It's just pulling it together in a way that makes sense in these new circumstances. I guess I've always looked externally for fun. Even with the kids, it's like, okay, I'll take them to the skate park or whatever. And for me, you know, I'll go for, you know, breakfast somewhere or go for some cake or, you know. Now being at, the ho at home full time, not having that option has made me kind of rethink what this space means. And I'm, and I'm feeling really positive about that. This is not a negative revelation at all. Anyway, just some thoughts. Um, okay. Let's bounce back. Didn't really bounce back, did it? So yeah, I'm just going to um, make a really easy dinner with these wraps and cold meat and salad, which is, will be lovely. I think there's a movie night occurring tonight. Um, and for me, because I don't watch movies, I'm going to read and watch booktube. And yeah, spend the night doing that. I really need to shower. That would be a good thing too. Okay, we're bouncing back now. Thanks for letting me chat over some donating. I enjoyed that. Okay, that needs to sit and rest now. 20 minutes so let's get reading some more my reading has been is, failed <laughs> which is really good it's been interrupted by a little one who wants to play cards so we'll do that for a little bit of time before I have to serve dinner I'm on 126 now it's really really interesting and great storytelling loving it okay what are we playing? Five crowns. watching a movie tick I can clock off for the afternoon though I've had a pretty easy day <laughs> but a really nice steady day I feel really accomplished so that's good um I just thought I'd wrap up where I got to in here I'm like 120 pages or so in not quite halfway but I might read some more later um I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts on it I think you know the um, character stories are going down 
the path that we all know because we all know what happened, right? The horrible, horrible world that um, our First Nations people were subjected to in the name of Christianity and in the name of reform or whatever it was. Bullshit, really, but anyway. Um, so, but I think it's really important to read these type of books for me because that can get quite impersonal, that knowledge. But when you read a book, a novel, because for me, I like reading novels, but about characters, I've developed this um, connection to these characters. I want to know how, you know, what happens to them personally. And even though the things that are happening to them, I know happen to everyone, it's still this kind of emotional journey that I'm going through and it really hits home what, what you know the, the kind of emotional trauma yeah it's not just a fact on a piece of paper it's yeah so it's actually happening to a character in a book but that makes it even more real for me does that make sense anyway it's just the thoughts i wanted to share um we're kind of it's just so well put together this story um, and the unanswered questions are being answered constantly. And, um, yeah, I feel really involved and really at peace with the story. So I'm enjoying it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up for the day, edit the blog. And if I read any more, I'll let you know tomorrow. Okay. It's been fun spending day five of Aussie April with you. I'll see you all in the morning. Good night. <laughs>